On the night of May 9th and 10th, the Indian Air Force executed one of the most audacious and technologically advanced military operations in South Asian history, dubbed Operation Sindor. In a retaliatory strike following a Pakistan-based terror attack in Pahalgam on April 22nd, India unleashed a barrage of 15 BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles launched from both land-based systems and air-based assets, targeting 12 Pakistani Air Force bases. The operation crippled Pakistani air defense and dealt a severe blow to its air operational capabilities, with at least four missiles striking the strategically vital Balari Air Base. In addition to showcasing India's tactical prowess, the employment of decoy dummy aircraft and precision munitions, such as the Scout missiles, and the Crystal Maze revealed the BrahMos missile system's first combat deployment. Indian launched the loitering munitions up in the air, including the Israeli-made that targeted Pakistan's air defense radars and command and control systems after the enemy radars and air defense network were activated to destroy the Indian missiles. The Pakistani Air Force deployed all of its HQ-9 air defense missile system launchers and radars to various sites respectively. Some of them were deployed at new locations but were detected after being activated. Pakistani air bases were hit, their military sites were damaged, their Chinese air defense systems failed completely, their drone attacks were thwarted, and it was a big win for the Indian forces. The Indian Air Force then followed up the long-range missile attacks on the Pakistani air bases, which included the BrahMos and the Scout missiles. Around 15 BrahMos missiles and Scout, Pakistan may be intercepted one or two Scout stealth cruise missiles, but not a single BrahMos intercepted. Indian Air Force fired 15 BrahMos to Pakistani targets. With just only 15 BrahMos, they surrendered. India has around 1,500 BrahMos in its arsenal. The strikes on its air bases were so intense that the Pakistani side dropped all plans for the counter to the capitulation of their air defense system and urgently requested DGMO talks to arrive at the understanding with India to put a pause to all military action going forward. BrahMos can be launched from land, air, sea, and even submarines with a range currently extended up to 280 kilometers and future variants aiming for over 1,000 kilometers. It offers India the ability to strike high-value targets across difficult terrain and dense air defense systems. BrahMos isn't just about speed. It's a marvel of precision and stealth. The missile uses an active radar seeker in its terminal phase, terrain-following guidance and inertial navigation, ensuring pinpoint accuracy with a CEP, circular error probable, of under one meter. Its warhead, either conventional or nuclear capable, can carry a payload of up to 300 kilograms, delivering a devastating blow to enemy infrastructure, command centers, and mobile missile launchers. And thanks to its steep dive and sea skimming capabilities, it can avoid detection and strike from unexpected angles perfect for anti-ship and land attack missions alike. India isn't just building BrahMos for itself. Countries like the Philippines have already signed deals to acquire the missile, while others like Vietnam, Indonesia, and Brazil have expressed serious interest. Why? Because BrahMos offers non-Western allies a dependable, affordable, and field-tested cruise missile that deters aggressive neighbors without waiting for foreign intervention. With the introduction of BrahMos NG, a lighter, faster, and more compact version, India is aiming for mass deployment of fighter jets like the Su-30MKI, Rafale, and even the Tejas MK-1A. If you want to watch a video informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video ends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. 
Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.